Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back to Cool Arts. So, as always, Zach Aikman, Courageous Pants, and as you can tell, I've skipped forward a little bit so you don't have to see me wandering around the campsite for much long. I'm actually fairly close to where we need to be. We're approximately in this little general area right now. We need to get around here. So, without further ado, we are going to... Actually, I'm probably going to just see you all when I get there. Because Unless something cool happens, because I'm always expecting something cool to happen, because this is actually, you know... Very inter inter interesting game. However, it seems that all the threats typically reside around the things you want to get to, the points of interest. Sort of like, almost like guardians of sorts. So I think I need to go this way. Uh, so I'm going to come to a fork in the road. I think actually going to the right would get me a little bit faster. So let's go to the right. Wait, did I get turned around? So I'm coming up to this pass. There is no crossroad. I'm I'm an idiot. Never mind. Whatever. We're not going to worry about it. I'm already lost in the woods. The episode just started. This is a great start. Oh, the best of starts. Well, let me just tell you. Oh, here's the crossroad. So yeah, I want to go I want to go to the, this way. Markings. They don't tell me where I am though. I don't know what they mean. Which is great. Except it's not... Oh, wait, hang on. There's more markings over here. Hopefully these up here will tell me where I am. Because that's really what I need to know. And wolves aren't something I need. Okay, that's the forest I need to get to, I think. So I have a visual of my destination. Of de my destination, not my destination. Destination is not a word. It's not a word that you guys should use because it doesn't exist. I've been drinking coffee again. That's not been very obvious. God, I love this stuff. Okay, so another crossroad, which means we've gotten to about here. And so I need to go right, but since I'm upside down, I need to go left, so this way. And now we've reached a frozen lake of sorts, which may or may not be good. I've been to this frozen lake before, and I need to figure out where exactly... I am. I think I'm pretty sure I'm like here now. There's kind of a split, and I can go sort of this way, but I don't want to because then I'll hit mountains. So I just need to keep following this road, I think. Pretty sure that's what I need to do. I'm just glad the ice doesn't uh, break on the on the um, on the lake. That would be terrible. That'd be the absolute worst of things. I hear paper again. Sounds like it's coming from over here. So I need to somehow climb this rock, I believe. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing that. Exactly. This rock looks fairly unclimbable. So where am I now? There's another crossroad. And I need to take a right. Okay. Okay. So I need to go this way. And it should split again. But it's not. It's weird. It should have split again immediately. Maybe I'm maybe I'm more lost than I thought I was. I mean that oh, here's where it splits again. Hello? Ooh, I don't like these noises. Oh. Ambience changed. I still hear paper. I hope this paper doesn't kill me. Hello? Why are there so many noises? Thank you. Something better not kill me from behind. We managed to replenish food supplies so we could eat something on our way there. Horses are moving slowly. It's making me sleepy. It's getting dark. The second camp was an abandoned village. We found a house to stay at overnight. Did you guys hear like footsteps? In darkness, we started setting up a fireplace. Everyone cut them. Sorry to cut short. I thought I heard footsteps. I was not about to be killed from behind again. I think I need to go down there. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's where I need to go. 
Oh yeah, I just found a paper, so it's going paper's going to show up on the map. So I am here. Am I? I must have taken a wrong turn. Or several. Or I'm here. I think I'm actually here. So that's south. That's a giant wooded area to my south. South southeast. So I think I'm I think I'm that one. Kinda wanna just Am I gonna die? Nope. Okay, I'm safe. Okay. So now we're in a place where there's noises that I don't appreciate. I remember this place from, uh, there was a giant, there was a mist here last time. Fortunately, I don't think that that's happening again. And it's also not dark enough that the spectral people will come out. Though I'm staying ever vigilant about the possibility that that all could just happen. There should be a thing around here somewhere. Usually I can see them when I get relatively close. Maybe I'm not in the right spot? I'm pretty sure that, like, I don't know what else would be a giant wood area. Let's get up these and I can kind of try to look around. I think there's something over there in the distance. There is a thing. It's this goddamn mist again. Shit. Okay, apparently that happens whenever you go over there, so I, I needed to not go over there. But now I need to engage full panic mode, because I think the mist is going, will kill me. But I can't sprint for very long, which is an issue. I need to find out what killed these people. I need to not get caught in this mist. These are two things that need to not happen to me. Unless I'm supposed to get caught in the mist, because I think this is where I need to be. But I'm pretty sure the mist is designed to be a threat to me. Which further poses that this is a place where I need, to, I need to be because there's only ever threats in places where I'm required to go. And usually after I've, you know, dealt with whatever it is I need to discover, the threat typically goes away. And since the... Th oh, hello. That was weird. I clipped on a tree, I think. And since the... 4773, okay. So I've got a point of reference that I can use real quick. So 47... Uh, 73, I'm right here, so I need to head east. Which is this way? 47, 73, I need to head directly this way. And it sounds like there's something behind me. This is not a game where I appreciate a lot of noise. Oh my god, I'm stuck on rocks. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I survived the mid. Oh, the leaves scare me. Leaves keep scaring me. Stop scaring me, leaves. Okay, so I need to head more. I have to head basically directly east from where I am. Unfortunately, for me, for me, there are a bunch of rocks in the way, so I need to head this way a tad. I want to get up on these rocks right here. I hear paper. Keep hearing paper over there. This giant tree looks very important, actually. This giant tree actually looks, looks extremely important. This giant tree actually looks like one of the mo more important things in this game. Hello? What are you? I am an empty I found man. a thing! Made in his image, but not alike. A servant, obedient to one master. My body is a shell, and I am ready to absorb him. Uh, now I see the plan. I see the magnitude of devastation. The Creator summons me, and I want to be his food. I am humming his tune. I am looking at the world through his eyes. I drink the blood of his enemies and taste the rotting bodies. I feel the sin sprouting under my skin. I hear screams in my head. I hear them calling me. I hear the calling of the ones that through him have already found their eternal shelter. Free them, my lord! Free them! And take me instead! Fulfill your revenge! At the hour of my death! An army of angels comes out from the orange light. 
The song is made of one powerful voice. I feel their presence, their twisted faces, their black eyes drilling into my consciousness. They demand to finish the work. Oh, his presence is overcoming me. So poor and defenseless. What have they done to you? What harm? There is a place. You were there, and so was I. A, a huge gate. And the creator hidden behind it. Only those few who touched him could understand. But you could. You understood. And I understood through you. Alrighty, yeah, I would have read that out loud for a little bit faster, but make it a little bit faster, but that guy is so good at reading that sort of stuff. Hang on, is there a threat? I see no threats. So I'm gonna check the map to get my bearings. I am here. The last one is around this area, so I need to head east, which I'm pretty sure is this way. I'm still pretty sure that east, well, yeah, east is this way. I can't use a compass. I'm sorry. That's one of my many flaws. So I have to find two more things, and I'm gonna find one more this episode. It's right there! Goodbye! Whoa, burn down forest. I don't think it saw me. I think I got really lucky, actually. This is very discomforting. And I'm very curious as to what's so close to me. I keep hearing things and I see the spectral people. And they're spooking me out. I am way too close to all of them for my comfort and my well-being. And holy crap, is this all very creepy and I don't like it. Was there a, a massive fire? What happened here? Up oh, here's one. Found one. Found one. My dear Vera. And no one kill me from behind. That would be some I'm bullshit. I'm spending my time in the Institute on long walks in the park. Only here I can find solace. Only in the shadows of the trees. I hear them. My thoughts are peaceful when I see how the sun brushes Why is my vision all like blurred? And the wind comes That's meant on purpose. That's, that, that's on purpose, guys. That's not the resolution of your of the YouTube or whatever. It's actually like the warping and blurring. The worst is behind me. The breakdown. I was think it's because there are enemies so close. It's difficult for me to say what triggered. I'm this about to die. I know you'll never forgive me for what I've done. The tragedy that I have contributed to shall never find any justification or explanation. I can only cover it up with madness. But I am aware that this is a pathetic excuse, and I'm not able to hide behind it. I take full responsibility for what happened, and I am prepared to be punished. The doctors, however, say I will probably not leave the Institute. You must know I would rather rot in prison a hundred times for what I have done to you. I have to confess, I tricked you. I knew you would never, ever want to hear what I have to say to you. That is why I sent my friend with this letter to your sister, and after a lot of persuasion, she agreed to read it to you. To you. I thank her from the bottom of my heart for this. I'm ending this letter. I want to bore you no more. Someday, hopefully, I will be able to tell you all this in person. Luckily, my friend Anton is by my side at all times. He was the one that went to your sister. I hope this letter finds you both well and in good health. I wish you all the best. Forever yours, Vitali. Okay, before the thing kills me, I have to say, I really, I need, I have to know what he did. Oh, they didn't kill me. I, I still have a chance to run. Okay, the last one is super far north. 
campsite. That's exactly what I need right now because uh, uh, it's really far north, so I'm gonna want to have to. I want. I'm gonna want to fast travel. Uh, but it seems like we're starting to get some sort of conclusion to this, guys. We're starting to figure out. I'm trying to still piece together what this man did, and I want to know if it's the same person who's been contacting me in my head, or if the person who's been contacting my, me in my head is the same guy who contacted him long, long ago. So apparently this is a safe spot. I don't feel very safe, but I'm going to have to take its word for it. We're not even close to being done on time, so I might be able to actually finish it. So the last spot is at 7 north, uh, 52 east, which is um, like way up here. So I'm going to want to fast travel back to the spot where we started today and see... Okay, hang on. So there's a path north of here. So the red is the north. Red is north. Okay, and I need to go through that cave. So, hop, skip, and a jump, and through the cave. I'm surprised how, like, sturdy this man... Oh, that's some bullshit. Okay, well, how do I get in the cave? Okay, so I can head this direction, and be able to find the cave that way, so... Suppose I'll see you all when I do that. Or, actually... Since this might be a big finale, and I'm probably going to have some big finale for next time, um, I actually think this might be a good place to um, cut it off for right now. So, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Click the invitations coming up in one second, uh, just a little bit for more videos that I've done. As always, I love you all so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.